Hello, welcome back to another video. So, a few weeks ago, I bought this. Now, this is the X2 Plus Game Stick. And when I bought it, I bought it primarily for Amiga games. A mate had bought one, and I just sent me a little clip of like what was on there. Say you're getting stuff like that. 40,000 plus games, and when I seen Amiga there in the menus, I was like, I just got to have one of them. So anyway, I got it, and I plugged it in, and I went straight for the Amiga games. Now, they do work fine, don't get me wrong. However, the mouse-based and keyboard-based games do not work. Uh, for one, there's no virtual keyboard on the emulator for the Amiga. And two, the mouse support, uh, the extra sort of joystick you get, it just doesn't work as a mouse. It just flicks from left to right and stuff like that. So I've looked into it and I've devised my little simple hack, should we say. Now, it's quite simple and it, it involves this a little USB hub. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set this up properly. Now, obviously, if you've bought one of these game sticks and you wanted to play the likes of Monkey Island or Leisure Suit Larry or even Hunter, because Hunter at the start, you need the mouse to you know go through the menus and stuff like that. You will need to purchase a mouse and a keyboard for this. So there's extra cost on top of that. Now, these things were rammed, as I say, down people's throats on TikTok. You must have these. These are the must-have item, retro gaming galore, blah, blah, blah. There's no support for it, and the people who are selling them, just they're just selling them for commission, basically, and they haven't got a clue what they're on about, so they don't know how to set this up. Now, there's been an updated one. Now, so all these ones that people bought a few weeks ago, all the shite, as they call it now, has been taken off. And you're left with this stick, and now they're trying to get you to buy an updated one. Now, the updated one, I'm told, has got a virtual keyboard and stuff like that. But what do the people do who bought these, and they're not very savvy on them, stuff like that. And they want to play Monkey Island, they want to play Legend Suit Lightning, stuff like that. So, yeah, I've, I've looked into it myself, and I, as I say, I went out and I've got one of these. Now, what I'm going to do, first of all... I'm going to plug the stick in as normal, and I'm going to run it as stock, as you call it. And I'm going to show you how the mouse um, is, it, it, how it acts, basically. And then I'm going to show you how my sort of little hack works and stuff like that. Because, don't get me wrong, they are decent things. And like I've said in the last video, you know, I'm, I'm sort of a little bit savvy on these, so I, I sort of know what to do. But if you get, you know, Joe Bloggs, who just want to play Legend of Larry and stuff like back in the day and Monkey Island and stuff, buys these and then he just can't think of it. So, yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to show you how it acts and then I'm going to show you my little hack. So when you turn on the other controller, you get a red light. As I say, the dominant controller, or the primary controller, is in green. So, when the game loads up, you are presented with this. Now, normally, you just use your mouse and flick across and select the menus. However, look. See what the mouse is doing just there, the pointer? It's just... See, it's it, it kind of wants to work. See, it just, it's well scatty. If you try it on that one, it won't work because that's the primary controller. I'll just come out of that. So what we do is we come out of this. And again, I'll just show you. As you can see, it's not very good. So if I wasn't, you know, sort of savvy with these things and I wanted to play Hunter from back in the day, I would be very, very disappointed. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put on a, a game that requires you to type something in the keyboard just so I can show you, you know, what doesn't work with it and stuff like that. So up next, we have the Mighty Turbo Challenge 2 or Lotus Turbo Challenge 2. Now, without any sort of adjustments, this thing worked with the controller quite well. As you can see there, you can just flick up, up, down, down. But, however, 
If you want to type in a course name, how would you do that? There is no virtual keyboard for it. So this game, as much as you can play it, it's fine. If you want to play your favorite level from back in the day, I know mine was the snow level. You'd have to just go through the game and hope you got there. So there is no, no thing. Else. I mean, I'll even flick out of this. So it's select and Y. Now it gets you into the emulator. There is nothing on this emulator to say there's a virtual keyboard. So you are pretty, pretty much stuffed if you want to play anything keyboard based. Right, so here is the setup as followed. You have the game stick connected to the HDMI extender. Now this lead is a double-ended, oh, where misses, double-ended USB. So this one goes into your hub. The hub is powered with a power bank. I mean, you don't have to, but I just use a power bank. So the power bank is feeding the hub the power. You have the game stick connected into the hub. Next to that, you have the dongle, which was originally in this. So when you plug this into the telly, that dongle is just in there and it gives you the uh, controllers, how, how to use them and stuff like that. Next to that, we have this, which is a wireless keyboard. And then next to that, we have a mouse. Now I'm using this Goodman's gaming mouse I bought from B&M, but it's not as simple as that. It, there's, a, there's a bit of tweaking in settings and it all works beautifully, trust me. Right, so my bad, I did have it set up wrong. So the hub needs to be directly plugged into the stick. Obviously then your stick is powered by your power bank and then leave the rest as normal. So as you can see, it still, it still works. We're gonna go up to Amiga. And we're gonna select Hunter again. Right, so both controllers are also on as well. And as you can see, it's still a little bit scatty. So you see the mouse pointer there. So what we need to do is select and Y, brings you into this, flick down to input, go across, and where it says twin USB, no auto fire on the top, you just select it and click on mouse. Go down to port one, flick that, and then leave that as it is. Just leave that as twin USB joystick. Take off auto fire. So I have no auto fire. So it's port naught or port zero, mouse, no auto fire, twin USB joystick, no auto fire. I will put a picture up now, just if you can't see it properly on the screen, just to show you the, the settings. And then what you do is you just go down to let me just get off this, go down to resume, which is here in the corner. Click on resume. And now we have a working mouse and also a keyboard, but we don't need the keyboard for this game. I'll just show you what I mean. See, I'll just put, do it there just so I can see it better on camera. So there we go. There's the mouse working. Joystick should, uh, keyboard should work as well straight away. So, I mean, the controller still works with it because if you press start and then you click on the game, go to start new game, go to Hunter, and then just type in. So, this is where the keyboard works as well. So, there's the keyboard. And there's T double O H E Y. Thank you very much. Just get out of that. So you still need this to play Hunter. I mean, you can probably get a bigger hub and add 
a, a, a joystick, but I haven't done that yet. I'm just going off today. Keyboard and mouse based games as such. And as you can see, the controls work as they should. Left, right, forward and backward. There's that bloody annoying seagull that you get in the game. So, and again, the mouse working as it should, as you can see there. So just go up to get your thingy out. Gonna come down. So I'm gonna show you Lotus again and just show you how that works as well, but it's the same concept. So to come out of this, I just go dink, select and start and it just resets the whole emulator and runs it back into the main menu. Right, so we're gonna do, yeah, Table Challenge 2 again. Righty ho, start that one, get out of that. So as before, it's working as it should. Gears are um, automatic and accelerate. So this is where you need. Well, well, this is why you need to turn off the auto fire. No auto fire, because when you have press button to accelerate, it thinks it's an auto fire mode, and it's just it's it's jittering all the time. So turn auto fire off, and it runs smooth. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up to where you type in the name for the course. There we go, and we type in my favourite course. T H E S K I D S the skids and there we have it with Christmas coming soon <whistles> ding 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 go right so just to reiterate before I go plug your stick into your telly as you would via HDMI take out the dongle that's in the back of the stick now plug your hub directly into the stick, power your hub, so as I say I've got it powered here with my power bank, stick your dongle in your hub, stick your dongle for your keyboard, doesn't have to be a wireless keyboard, could be a wired one, and then there we have a mouse, as I say I've gone for the wired mouse because I can't find my wireless mouse, and um, yeah as I say do them settings and you cannot go wrong. Right another quick one before I go, cannon fodder. So we have the mouse. Now your left one is walk as you would on the Amiga and your right one is fire. It actually works quite well. Okay, so there you have it. I hope this video has been very informative to you. Like I've said, it will require you to buy a keyboard and a mouse, but, <clears throat> pardon me, if you are in the UK, you can get a cheap keyboard and mouse from the likes of Home Bargains or B&M stores. And as you can see, just a little bit of tweaking and it works flawlessly. Um, it's just it, it's just annoying the fact that, as I said, these these TikTokers who now open a TikTok shop and they're selling these like retro consoles and stuff like that, they haven't got a clue what they're on about. So when you ask for advice, they don't know. They just do not know. But like as I've said, I'm a little bit savvy with these kind of things, so I know sort of what I'm doing. But as I say, the average Joe blogs who's never used an emulator or stuff like this and you know he's, he's going to struggle so as i say get yourself a usb hub um that one i got from ebay for about four pounds i don't know the exact name of it just type in whatever and look for the graphics on the front of it and then get that i think it's about four pounds or something like that and as i say you can still use the controllers with the emulator while you've got the settings on mouse and keyboard work flawlessly now you can use a wide mouse you don't have to have a wireless mouse it's just what i've got on hand at the moment so i think that is all um i do continue to use this i do play it every now and then because i like to play some mega drive games and stuff like that um and the amiga games they do run well don't get me wrong uh leisure suit lally and stuff like that everything works now as it should 
So yeah, and that's it. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Siri. <laughs>